Good morning from the Isle of Mill. Um, I'm staying at the Craig Newer Bunkhouse at the moment. I'm on a hill walking trip with the ScottishHills.com crowd and uh, most of them are away doing a hill walk and a couple of us are going to the Treshness Isles on a boat trip and Staffa as well. So we're hoping to see some puffins, although it's quite early in the season, it's only the 14th of April today. So it might not be too much kicking about, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to mull around, sorry, excuse the pun. We're going to Staffa first and then um, we're going to go to the Treshness Isles on to Lunga. I've just seen a white tailed eagle back there. Got a couple of photos but they're not the sharpest because it's, it's quite rocky as you might see in the video. Try to hold this steady and uh, got Staffa just ahead there. I'll swivel around. <laughs> Just coming in to land at Staffa. They showed us entrance to Fingal's Cave, but apparently we can't go in. But it's a do at your own risk, so we'll have a look and we'll see what we think. And we're almost there. It's quite something. Just walking along the basalt columns here. Look at that, stunning. There is a handrail and the, the rock's pretty grippy as well. La 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 <laughs> See an open door Oh, you right Oh, he turns up. Summit of Staffa. How high is this island? 42 meters. 42 meters. I think I might be right on top of Fingal's Cave, so I'm going to dangle the selfie stick over and have a look. to Lunga, that there is a the Dutchman's cap, that distinctive shape. We are heading there. So we've just landed on uh, Lunga, which is part of the Treshness Isles, and uh, there's loads of puffins just out at sea there. Uh, a bit difficult to photograph, again the boat was bobbing up and down. Uh, I'm hoping to see plenty of puffins here. There is burrows already, so could be lucky if I am 
I'll certainly share them with you in a moment. It's Perry Puffins. I love these birds, really do. So here you've got nesting filmers. Do apologise about my shaky hand here. Some shags. Not bad at all. Absolutely stunning. What a fantastic island this is, it's, uh, it's a shame we've only got two hours to explore it because uh, it's quite big and there's lots of little nooks and crannies and wildlife to see. Well that's time to go, there's the boat, he's just coming in to pick us up so better start heading back now. A little tip for the puffins is sit down near the burrows, particularly early in the season, April, May, when they're not as um, active running around because when you're sitting there just patiently they'll come out of their burrows and they'll come back in and they're coming and going all the time so you just have to sit and be patient within 5-10 minutes you will see a puffin <clears throat> anyway I shall head off and uh, I shall leave you with some footage of some puffins from today cheers now <laughs>